Hey there, my name is Gabriel Ives and I'm from the Amtrol Technical Service Department. Welcome to another Tech Take. Today we're going to be talking about the residential pressurizer and its installation wiring. So let's jump right into this. First of all, we're going to look at the Guardian control. This is a Guardian pump control. Uh, it has the same four wires that you'd come to expect, the two power wires and your two pump wires. This control will be wired up very similar to a Square D or other pump controls. You may notice that it doesn't have a grounding wire. This is because the Guardian control takes advantage of a pass-through ground system. So to demonstrate this, let's look at the RP unit. So you can take off this back cover by removing these two screws and pulling it off. You notice we've got the power in from the wall coming into our Guardian unit, passes through, and gets tied into this little green grounding screw. The ground then obviously gets passed through to the housing of the pump. While we have this open, let's go ahead and talk about how we would switch this pump from running on 115 to 230 volts. That's this little connector right here. The connector is connected to two prongs and the, and the arrow points to whatever voltage the pump is currently set to. As of right now, from the factory it comes at 115 volts. But if we pull this connector off and we shift it up so that it's only connected to one of the prongs and now it's pointing at the 230 volts, the pump is now wired for 230 volts. All right, so that's just about everything you need to know about the residential pressurizer wiring. If you do have any other questions, feel free to give us a call and uh, visit our website at amtrol.com uh, and uh, we'll be glad to answer all of your questions.